welcome to this week's edition of Ask the Doc. The question this week is, what is the book of Enoch and is it biblical? Uh, the book of Enoch is a work some scholars attribute to Enoch of the Bible. However, his claimed authorship is unfounded. Uh, Enoch, written in its entirety, is only written in the Ethiopian language. If you want to read what's considered the book of Enoch in its entirety, you would actually have to understand the Ethiopian language, although some of what is included in the book of Enoch is written in English and can be found if you do a search on the internet. According to the Bible, uh, Enoch is the great-grandfather of Noah and the son of Jared. This is in Genesis 5.18. He's also one of only two men who was taken to heaven without dying. You can read about that in Genesis 5 and 24 and Hebrews 11 and 5. We know that the Bible says Enoch walked with God and was no more. He's considered such an upright man that God just took him to heaven. Elijah, of course, was the second, and he was taken up in a chariot of fire. The book of Enoch is not included in the Bible because it bears some historical inaccuracies in its writing. It's believed to be passed down from oral tradition and then written in the Ethiopian language, and it includes stories that simply are not true when we view these stories having read the Bible through the lens of the Scripture. However, Enoch himself is quoted in the Bible. The book of Jude quotes Enoch in verses 14 and 15. However, just because Enoch was quoted in the Bible does not mean that this supposed book of Enoch is inspired by God and should be included in the Bible. Now, the two verses in Jude, of course, are inspired by God because it's included in God's Word. But it should be noticed that Jude's quote of Enoch is not the only extra-biblical source that's quoted in the Bible. In Titus chapter 1, verse 12, Paul quotes Epimenides, and in Acts chapter 17, Paul quotes a Sicilian Stoic philosopher, Aratus. So there are people who are not in the Bible or their books or writings not contained in the Bible that are actually quoted in the Bible. So how do we treat the book of Enoch if we get a hold of a copy? The book of Enoch should be treated like any other of the apocryphal writings. Some of it may be true and some of it may not be true. So how do we discern whether it be the book of Enoch or any other religious writing or supposed religious writing, how do we know what is true and what is not true? We always read these extra biblical sources through the lens of the Holy Scriptures. We look at the Bible, and if it contradicts anything the Bible would say, then we take those writings with a grain of salt. If the Bible as we look through it, does not contradict anything that we might read out of one of those books, then we consider some of the teaching to be very practical and may be useful for us. But ultimately, the Bible is to be our source of truth. Acts 17, 11 says, The Bereans were of more noble character than the Thessalonians because when Paul spoke, they examined the Scriptures to verify what he said was true, whether it be the book of Enoch or any other writing that we would read. We always need to read it through the lens of the Scripture. For in the Scripture, there we find truth. Thank you for a great question. Thanks for tuning in this week. Hope you have a Merry Christmas, and we'll see you right after the New Year. Remember, as always, God loves you, and so do we. Take care.